PAE sign is a fast and secure way to manage electronic signature workflows, both internally and externally to your organization, bringing immediate gains in efficiency, auditability, and productivity. Professional Vantage produce a range of dedicated and fully integrated Enforce Sun Systems financial solutions. We also have a range of process automation solutions that are available to all customers no matter what underlying financial system you are using. PAE Sign is a simple process automation tool that is available to all customers. Users of PAE Sign can expect a simple and easy to use interface offering a quick ROI. It increases workflow efficiency both internally and for your customers and clients, removing unwanted paper in the business. With a great audit trail, it provides complete transparency around every transaction passing through the system and allows you to download evidence packages when required. It has both ad hoc and repeat document template functionality and also offers field capture and web form creation where you may need to capture more information beyond a signature. The functionality of PE Sign compares well with market leading solutions and it is powered by AlphaTrust, a globally trusted e signature provider. With PAE Sign, you can sign any document anywhere at the click of a button. The PAE Sign interface is simple and easy to understand. Along the top of the screen, you will see some tiles which indicate the status of transactions that have been passing through the system. On the bottom left of the screen, we have a list of recent transactions with the actual document name and this shows us the detailed status and the ability to drill into that transaction to see the document and the evidence package that may be associated with it. On the right hand side, we have any template workflows that you may have created for reuse. So here my client demo document is a template workflow that I could use again and again, maybe updating recipients if required. The ability to build workflow templates is really useful and means that you can speed up everyday activities that occur regularly. In order to start a document workflow, there are a number of options. You may send documents out to participants, have them signed and then send them back to you. Or you may wish to sign documents and then send them to other recipients. Either option can also include approvers and review steps. You may alternatively produce a reusable workflow with predefined documents or even participants that you can use as many times as you wish. For this demonstration, I'm going to move directly to a predefined workflow and have a look at how this is set up. If I click on the edit function on the right hand side, we will see that this document has been set up with one signature externally to the organization and then a second signature coming back to an internal representative. These can be predefined with actual usernames and email addresses if required in a workflow template or they can be filled in at runtime. In this case, I'm going to leave them to be filled in at runtime. Over on the right hand side, we can see whether or not a step will be taken in person for one of these participants, and in this case it will be digitally in both, and we can see whether or not they're going to be sent a final email with the completed documents and an attachment to that document where required. You can add as many participants to a workflow as you require, editing the details for each of them as needed. I'm going to leave this with two participants. Once I have added all the required participants to the workflow, I then need to add a document. In this case, you can see I've already uploaded a single document into the transaction. You can add as many documents to a transaction as you need, and each document may require signature from every participant. You can add documents simply by uploading them from your computer, or taking from a document library that has already been uploaded into PAE Sign. In this case, I'm just going to go and tag a document that I've already uploaded. The tag document function is an easy to use drag and drop interface. You can add actions to the document for each participant taking part in the workflow. So for an example, for my customer manager, you can see that I've dragged on a signature block, a printed name block, title and signature date, and then by swapping to another participant, myself in this case, I've added a signature block, printed name, title, etc. for myself. A very simple process by moving over to the left hand side of the screen, dragging the required block and dragging it onto the document where you require it. In this case, I've also added a checkbox to the document. This can be filled by any or one particular participant and is one of the many general fields that you could use as part of your transaction workflow to gather extra information. The system also offers the ability to complete a web form with various fields on it prior to signing the document. This is the more advanced functionality. Once you have tagged your document, we can click Done and this is now part of the workflow and ready to go. Once I'm happy with my proposed workflow, moving to the bottom of the screen will provide an option to go to the launch page. 
Here we have runtime options to fill in the participants included in the transactional process, or these would be pre-populated if you already had set them up as part of a template workflow. In this case, my first signer is going to be John Smith, and I fill in his email address. His title is Customer Manager. We then move on to the internal representative, which will be myself. In this case, I'm going to use the same email address so that I can easily show you the results of this as part of the demonstration. And my title is Manager. At the bottom of the screen, we define who the email will appear to have come from when the first signatory receives the email. In this case, I will say it's come from Andrew, and I will send it from Andrew at PA.com. I've now completed the process and I'm ready to go. If I click Send Workflow, this will initiate the first stage. The user is then returned a congratulations message stating that the transaction has been started. If I then return to my dashboard, have a look at the quick stats, you can see I have a transaction pending signature. If I now take on the role of John Smith, my customer manager, and have a look at his inbox, you'll see he has received an email from Andrew at PA.com. Opening the email, we can see that this is a notification that he is a participant in this transaction workflow. We have a document, PAE signed demo document 1, and in order to access this, he can click the link which will open the PAE sign interface. Within the interface, he will be presented with the document, and on the document, you will see any fields he needs to fill in and their prioritization. In this case, you can see that the checkbox to confirm version was the first field that needs to be entered. He can tick this. Once done, he saves and continues, which moves him to the next area where he needs to take an action, which in this case for this single document will be to sign it. And you can see that the system has already filled in his name, title and the signature date based on the blocks that I dragged into my workflow. In order to sign it, all John needs to do is click here. This will then sign it with a base signature, although there is options to add signature copies to the system. Once complete, John will get a success message showing that there is still another pending action on this document, which in this case will be for my own signature internally. If I now return to the actions to be taken by Andrew, in my own inbox you can see that I have an action required and it has been sent from Andrew at PA.com. If I open the email, I can see again that I have a document access link and by clicking this it takes me to the signature action that I added to the document earlier as the second participant. You can see that I already have John's signature, the fact that he's confirmed the version confirmed checkbox has been ticked and I'm ready to go. If I'm happy with the document I save and continue and at this stage I get an option to sign it myself and again it pre-populates my information. I'm going to sign the document and this completes the workflow. It will give me a success option and you can see that it's saying it's completed, it is no longer pending any further tasks. If we return to the PAE sign interface and have a look at our transaction list, we can now see that the workflow that we were participating in has been completed. If we click on the document itself, we can see the history of the actions taken against the document and we can also download an evidence package if required, which includes an audit trail of all information around the transaction and the document itself where required. If we click on the documents area, we can open up the document itself and go and see more details such as when John signed it, when I signed it and when it was completed etc. PAE sign is highly compliant for all international standards. Thank you for your interest in PAE sign. Should you require any further information, please feel free to contact your Professional Advantage Account Manager or have a look at our website at www.professionaladvantage.co.uk.